All right, so we want to take the integral of square root of p times the natural log of p. Um, to do that, we're going to do integration by parts. So our formula for integration by parts says the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Okay? So let's figure out what u is and what dv is. Okay? Well, ln of p is much simpler to take the derivative of than integrate, so I'm going to set that as u. And then the square root of p, dp, is going to be dv. which I'm also going to write as p to the 1 half dp. Okay? So now we're going to take the derivative of u and ln of p. So we have du equals 1 over p dp. Okay? And we want to integrate dv. So we have v is equal to p to the 3 halves divided by 3 halves which is equal to 2 p to the 3 halves over 3. Okay, so now let's plug this and this into our formula here. Write that underneath. So we have the integral of the square root of p ln of p dp is equal to uv. So we have 2 thirds p to the 3 halves ln of p. So it's uv minus the integral of v du. So first I'm going to pull out those 2 thirds. And then we have p to the 3 halves times 1 over p dp. And I'm going to write that again. So I'm going to write this all out. So we have 2 thirds p to the 3 halves ln of p minus 2 thirds. And then 1 over p is the same as p to the negative 1. So p to the 3 halves times p to the negative 1 is just the square root of p. So p to the 1 half dp. Okay. Then this is equal to 2 thirds p to the 3 halves ln of p minus 2 thirds. And then the integral of p to the 1 half is p to the 3 halves over 3 halves plus c. Okay. So that's equal to 2 thirds p to the 3 halves ln of p minus, and here we had that p to the 3 halves over 3 halves, the same as 2 p to the 3 halves over 3. So I'm just going to multiply 2 thirds by 2 thirds. So that's minus 4 thirds p to the 3 halves plus c. Oh, I apologize. 2 thirds times 2 thirds is not 4 thirds. It's 4 ninths. So have 2 thirds p to the 3 halves ln of p minus 4 thirds p to the 3 halves plus c.